Hey everybody, it's Wendy Cranford. I am speaking a little bit in a low tone tonight. It is a very late on Thursday night and I am filming my freebie Friday video just now. <laughs> and I try not to be too loud because my whole family's sleeping. So um, here we go. Um, this is a favor that I'm going to fill with candies for my sister's baby shower. She's having a baby in May and I'm throwing her baby shower April 12th. So I thought it'd be really fun to do um, her favors with some of the supplies from Celebration. So in the Celebration kit, one of the things, or uh, brochure, one of the things that you can get for free is this um, banner kit called Heartfelt Banner. And it comes with all of these really pretty canvas banner pieces. And um, it's got some clothes pins, twine, these cute little things. It's got a whole bunch of these flags so that you can make a banner. Well, I have several of these packages and so I decided that I would use them a little bit different. So I'm going to get started and show you how I made this. I used one of our bags, uh, the Chevron bags from the Tag a Bag kit. And these are really inexpensive and um, they make a really pretty favor so I just folded it in half up here and you get doilies in the banner kit so um, I took a doily and I just placed it here at the top and folded it over and then I went ahead and ran a little adhesive under here both sides so it still opens here but just this part's down. And then I chose the green polka dot banner piece and thought that was a really pretty piece. Just adhered that down right there. All right, and then I'm using the little hearts from the banner kit. These are canvas hearts. And I'm using one of my sponge daubers. You just you get these and you just slip them on your finger like that. And then I'm using some Calypso Coral ink and I went around the edges of this canvas heart to give it a little bit of color because I don't want so much brown. And then I used my Tombow liquid glue to put this down because adhesive isn't really going to work, like snail adhesive isn't going to really work to hold it in place. So I put a little glue on the back of there and I'm just going to adhere it down. And then I have a piece of very vanilla cardstock and I am using the It's a Girl stamp from A Dozen Thoughts. I love this stamp set. It's one of the best stamp sets to have, I think. So I'm using Calypso Coral ink and I'm just going to stamp that and then I'm going to use the Awesome Ticket Punch to punch this out. It fits perfectly around this sentiment. Alright, and then I'm just using a sponge in Crumb Cake ink and sponging around this punched out sentiment to give it some dimension and then I'm going to use a couple of dimensionals stampin dimensionals peel the backs off of those and put it down here and then my last touch is to use one of the clothes pins from the kit and some of the twine what I did is I went ahead and just laid the twine across like this and stuck the clothes pin on and then I tied a bow around the clothes pin. Now the huge benefit to this favor bag is that it's all cute and decorated up and ready to go. But, by taking this off, I can still get right into the bag. So that was my desire, 
is that I didn't want this to be adhered down and for it to be a big fuss for people to get into the bag and get their candy out. And that way they don't have to mess up their bag. They can still have the cute favor. So that is my super quick but really cute favor. I think they're really soft and gentle and they definitely represent having a little girl. So that's that. And since it's so late on Thursday night, I was able to go on my YouTube channel and I used random.org to draw last week's winner. And the last week's winner won my uh, March stamp kit of the month. And that is Michelle the Crafty RN. So if you go over to my blog, you'll see her name there. Michelle the Crafty RN won my last week's Freebie Friday. And this week I have for you... Oh, I was under my desk. This Simply Scent Kit. So it has envelopes, cards, it's got some really beautiful twine dimensionals. It's enough for 10 cards, it has 10 envelopes, and then this front piece pops off and is can be used as an ornament. So that is um, the giveaway this week. So just leave a comment on this video and you'll be entered to win this and I will draw a winner next week. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.